you got you a really busy hive over here. Super active. It's hard to tell, but from the numbers, it looks like it's going to be a big one. I looked through the window uh, in here. It's got a drywall ceiling in this drop-down area above this eyebrow. And I don't want to fool with that copper. I think I would probably destroy it trying to get it off the wall. It looks like it's glued in. It may be even cut in to the brick. But then you got the crown that looks like it overlaps it. So drywall from the inside is going to be the best way to remove it. Welcome to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. It's a cold day. I was just checking this box out. I was about to move their lid over. You can see they've propolized across it. They're starting to close that whole gap. I was going to peel it off and move it for them. But it's glued down too good. If I do, I think I'll pull frames out and everything. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave it alone. Let me fill you in with a little backstory for this video. This is a commercial property we're at. The property owner's never seen the problem she's got. Her lawn maintenance company made her aware of it. And I went out to look at it. She contacted me, asked me to come by and look. I went out and look at it. And that first 30 seconds or so of this video is what I shot just for her benefit. Just so I could show her what she had put a game plan together and schedule it. So th that was shot about two weeks before we did the actual job. Now, by the time we got around to doing this cutout, my buddy Steve happened to be in town vacationing with his family. And rather than sit at the beach and get a sunburn, he dropped him like a hot rock to come to a cutout. <laughs> so we had a good time hanging out with Steve. Steve and I, funny story, we went to high school together and didn't know each other in school. Uh, and my wife went to the same school him and him and my wife graduated in the same class which was a year ahead of me and we went to my wife's 30-year reunion and he recognized me and came up and said hello because he'd been watching the videos and uh, we've become pretty good friends since then hung out quite a bit together we happened to be in North Alabama for a short time and that's when we did that video with him and Yappy out at Marshall Space Flight Center and I'll link that at the end of this video but that's uh that was a uh, Happy coincidence. <laughs> I got Steve joining me again today. You might recognize him from uh, Huntsville with Yappy. We're doing a hive removal in a little professional center. I don't know what you want to call the building, but they're all in this ceiling here above this bay window. So I'm masking it off, covering things up so I don't make a mess all over the place because it's pretty nice and clean in here and and they're watching us so uh, i took the recessed light fixture out of its socket and roach poo fell all over the place but what i'm seeing on the FLIR is a real heavy heat signature all the way through here about halfway and down into the wall some it looked like too so this might be a, a cut them up and puzzle piece, puzzle piece it back together we got to do the repairs when we're done and I'm fixing to get busy. I'm fixing to cut and try to vac dust while we cut. Oh my gosh. They got termite problems big time. Roach crap and termites and bees. All living together in one big beautiful colony. <laughs> I'm gonna catch the door and I'll take this outside and dump it. Yeah, flying termites in the uh... <laughs> Yeah, they're in the along with the termites, the bees are in the roof space and they're going down into the wall. Not surprising. Oh, they're building in every little space they can get. You got a gap here that they're building in back there. It's gonna be fun digging this one out. 
So there's the bottom of that roof, that roof system out there. Yeah, no way I want to get into that. <laughs> that would have been hard to fix. I tell you, it is a muggy, hot day. Air conditioner's been off in this building, so it's in the high 70s in here. I'm on shirt number two. I haven't even started removing the hive yet. A whole lot of extra white comb. I think we're all right. I don't think they've been there too terribly long, so. <laughs> See, that was a solid 2044. I ran my finger up into it. I'm just that, that tough. Yeah, there. I think they're gonna be in the wall too. I see white comb back there. My heat signature showing up all right here. So, what happens on these cases like this? Wood gets rotten, they chew through, find their way into places they normally wouldn't be able to go because. There's gonna be a top plate along here that usually they couldn't pass, but I'm showing heat all down through this area. So I'm not wanting to cut the wall, but it looks like I'm probably going to. All right, we're gonna get started with the no-kill honeybee vac. I don't think you've seen this before except for a brief glimpse behind the seat of my truck. And that's as much as you're gonna see of it today. I'll show you the whole thing later. These were beginning to get a little tight in the space they're occupying. And they're building over here a little bit. This is nothing for them. And I guess that wall, there's not enough room for them to spread out or they probably got it full already anyway. But uh, I know I got a lot of new people on the channel wanting to know the difference in drone comb and worker comb. And here's kind of a side by side comparison because these were building out about to get ready to to uh, throw another swarm shortly this is a, this is a drone comb this is brand new solid white comb the the light may be yellowing it out a little bit but it's really white you can see the cell size this is drone this right beneath it is workers you can see a, a pretty good difference significant difference in the cell size this is drone comb right here and it goes over into a little patch of workers and then more drones. It's a little mix there. And then this more yellow piece back here is all worker. So that's drone comb down to worker comb. Did a little visual there. That's probably where the queen's going to be. I imagine they've got her tucked away somewhere thinking they're hiding her from me. Oh, don't worry, I got that master. <laughs> Elizabeth is texting me. That's all, honey, uncapped. Nice golden color. This is where we are right now, I'm just getting into it. This is the left left side of that uh, drone comb there. It's the third piece. This is the third cut. This is going in a separate container for someone's enjoyment. The boys, right? Yeah. Nephews. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna bring you guys. <laughs> this is shirt number three. I don't know if it's hot in here to me. I got the air turned down. I, I told him that's how he gets all those videos out. He just has, you know, one one swarm, swarm catch, capture and he keeps changing the shirts and uploads it to different videos. He's letting his secret out. Yeah, I only, I only do one swarm, one hive removal a month. I just change shirts a bunch during the removal and then drive through neighborhoods taking pictures of houses like I'm at different places. <laughs> Said, so I'm like, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> we had to.
Go ahead, I'm just videoing our bee aquarium. Killer bees. We had to uh, do these uh, jump rope maneuvers on the ground. About halfway, I don't know, I don't even know if we're halfway through. There's so much termite damage and and hive continues to go on back. We're halfway through what you can see. But that goes on back in there another foot probably. All the way around and then like I said, I still think they're in the wall. So we're cutting combs, separating the clean honey from the brood. Just had lunch. We're all cooling off, relaxing, and Steve's fixing to leave us to go join family. It sucks. <laughs> what? Is it family first? Oh, no, every man for himself. <laughs> <laughs> out of the wall and it's laid over. It's just lapped over the wall, hanging down in the wall. I don't know how big it is yet. I may have to open the wall too. Getting close though. That wood's also rotten though. A lot of it. I couldn't even cut the comb off of the wood. The wood just came with it. I didn't really do much for an ending for this video, so I just have to tell you how it all went down. We got the entire hive cut out as you could see but then my flare was still showing heat down the right side of that bay window all the way down the wall to about waist high uh, so I cut some access holes I cut two square about uh, three by three access holes just to see what it was and the heat actually turned out to be from termites it was a live infestation and the termites termites were putting out enough heat for it to show on the flare it wasn't showing like a like the temperature of a beehive but that was the north side of the building and there wasn't supposed to be any heat there so i needed to see what it was so i called the owner in just so they could come see if the job was complete and i could show them what they had pretty severe termite damage over that entire wall i cut some access holes for them but had to close it back up for opening day monday because this was a specialty uh specialty child care facility i'll call it 
So I had to make sure everything was clean, put up, closed up, so that no insects or, or anything could get back in. We ended up not doing the repairs on it because of the extensive termite damage. They were gonna have to demo at least that whole wall and rebuild it. So I left the, left the repairs to whoever came after me. I ended up doing two more cutouts for the same people later on and I have both of them recorded. I'll get them, get to them eventually. But, uh, you know, I shot this over a year ago, so who knows when you'll see those others. Anyway, that's how that all went down. They had a, they did have a contract with a termite uh, company and that termite company or their insurance probably on the hook for whatever the damage was. That's it. I'm out.